In this session, we are going to talk about parallel databases. Okay, parallel databases. First, I am going to tell you what are the architectures that we have for parallel databases. Okay, parallel DB architecture. Okay. I have four major architectures over here. First is shared memory. Okay. Next is shared disk. Then we have shared nothing. Okay. So we do not share disk, we do not share memory and finally we have hierarchical architecture. Hierarchical architecture is a combination of these three, okay. In these three if you combine them in certain way you get a hierarchical architecture. I'll just explain to you all of these in greater detail one by one. First, let us start with shared memory architecture, okay? My shared memory architecture looks something like this. I have many processors, okay? Let's use a different pen. I have many processors, okay? And all these processes are connected to a common shared memory, okay, via a interconnection network or a bus, okay, let's just call this a bus, okay, this is my bus, okay, so these processes are connected to the bus to a common memory okay this is my common shared memory okay this is what main memory right and let's have a different pen over here this is main memory and we have many shared disks okay so let me just assume that this cylinder is a disk. So this is my shared memory architectures, many processor having a common memory and having a common collection of disks which are being accessed by a bus. Okay, this is my bus. Let me just write down over here, this is the bus. So, what are the advantages of this shared memory architecture? First is, interprocessor communication is very fast, okay? Fast interprocessor communication. Interprocessor communication. How is it fast? Because there are no underlying network through which I have to pass messages. I can simply write something. Let's suppose my P1 has to say something to P2. P1 is going to write in this memory location and then P2 is going to read from this memory location. So that's about it. Now P1 has communicated to P2. Okay, so my interprocessor communication is fast. Okay. Now, the disadvantage over here is my bus becomes a bottleneck. Memory bus is a bottleneck. Since all memory accesses have to go through my memory bus, my memory bus becomes a bottleneck. And other disadvantages Let's take one more disadvantage. Because my memory bus becomes a bottleneck, scalability is limited, okay? I cannot add more processors. If I add more processors at one point in time, I would just have all these processors waiting for memory access, okay? So, 